What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the new supers coming to Destiny 2 this September with the Forsaken DLC. Now if you missed the stream from earlier, that's cool. I will have all your needs covered. Also guys, if you do like the video and want to show your support, hitting that thumbs up button truly does help me out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so it has been confirmed that we will be getting new supers within the Forsaken DLC for our favourite characters, the title Morlock and Hunter. Now I can confirm, each subclass in the entire game will get a new super, all three for each character, so that's nine new supers coming. This is mentioned on a Bungie website when looking at pre-orders for the Forsaken DLC. It states, wield new powers with nine additional supers, so that is absolutely amazing. No new subclasses were mentioned though, and I bet we probably won't be getting any within this DLC, but that hasn't been confirmed, so don't, don't quote me on that. Now these new supers, I do believe, will have their very own skill trees for us to mix things up with them. Now within the VDoc, we do see some of these supers in action. They speak of a few of them, but there are a few others hidden within the video, and that's why I am here for you guys. I have fished these out and I will bring them to you and talk about them and explain to you what they are. To start off, we have this Titan flying through the sky looking absolutely great. And this is coming from my Hunter main. This is one they don't actually talk about. We also see the same Titan within the same subclass flying down from the sky, almost identical to that death from above perk on the D1 striker subclass. But the instance of him gliding through the sky through the air, like a dolphin out of water, that looks spectacular. No doubt when he's in this animation, he is basically invincible. So if you're playing PvP and you see a titan flying through the sky like a dolphin coming towards you, you better get the heck out of his way. They then showed a new titan sunbreaker edition where he wields this big old daddy hammer and almost slams it into the ground like a fist of panic which in addition creates a path of fire in front of him which then creates a fire tornado. <laughs> Now there was no footage that I could see of uh, the Sentinel subclass, so this one we will have to wait and see with. The Hunter on his Golden Gun class now has fire knives, which he throws like a damn ninja. I can see this being a super use to take down multiple ads from all angles, so if you are surrounded, this might come in super handy. We then see a glimpse of the Arc Strider where he's using his staff to deflect incoming bullets back at the enemies, which is great. And again, I can see this coming in very, very handy indeed. Lastly for the Hunter, we actually do see the Night Stalker edition, but it's towards the end of the VDoc when they're not actually speaking about new supers. It's called the Shadow Mark. We see it being activated and just unleashing how. This Hunter lands and is in and out like a damn ninja for sure. I absolutely love it. Now for the Warlock. The Void Walker edition is absolutely epic. It gives you the addition to roam, teleport and pop a burst of energy, which takes out anything within a certain proximity of you. Pretty damn cool. The addition to the Stormcaller allows you to fire a beam of arc energy. Damn, you won't want to be standing in front of this shit. Now the Dawnblade edition isn't spoke of, but I believe we do see a small glimpse of it and the addition it will have to the Dawnblade. In a snippet towards the end of the VDoc, we see a Sentinel Titan pop that bubble. If you look closely, we can see a Dawnblade Warlock cast his super. What he does is he hits the ground with his sword and spawns kind of a shield in front of him. Real hard to see a make out, but when slowed down, it's actually pretty clear. So that looks pretty cool. Now there are a lot of new defensive supers coming. That Dawnblade Warlock one for a start. The Arc Strider Hunter being able to deflect bullets. I mean, these are things I feel actually quite needed. So it's good to see them being incorporated. So nine supers will be added in September, people, with their Forsaken DLC. Which, going by what we know so far, people, which are you most looking forward to? I love the look of the Warlock Stormcaller edition. Just a beam of energy like, get the F out of my way or die, bitch. I mean, I like it that much. I may even create a Warlock just to use it. We will see, people. We will see. But yeah, these are what we know so far about the supers coming to the game. If any more info drops, I will have you guys covered here on my channel. So if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. On that note, guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.